read with us all week long in our programs listed on our cflibguides.lonestar.edu page. Remember to like and share these videos. Now on with the show. Hi guys, it's Miss Missy with Lone Star College Sci Fair in Harris County Public Library again. And Zach and I are back with another book chat. And today's story that we are going to talk about, first of all, before you put it up, Zach, hold on. I want you to sit up tall and let them show them your shirt. Can you sit? Can you go really you high? Do. Ooh, what is it? Get up there. Hey. It's a shark. So we have a shark. So our book is about a shark. And we've been watching a lot of sharks on TV. So what book are we reading? I Survived a Shark Attack from 1916. <laughs> I <laughs> It's I Survived the Shark Attacks of 1916. I thought it was 1619. Well, no, it's not that old. Um, okay, so we're going to get talking about this. Number one, I want to ask Zach, what did you think? Did you like it? Yeah. That's it? I loved it. <laughs> All right, guys. So I Survived, and this is by Lauren Tarshis. And they're very popular books, so if you guys haven't read any of them, um, you should totally give them a try. They're really good. Um, and this was, I think it's her actual, her second book that she wrote. Um, so we're going to kind of dive into it, give you a little bit about kind of what these books are about. And then we're going to talk a little bit more about some other questions that I can ask you too. Let's All right. Let's dive into it. Let's dive in, right? <laughs> All right. So, Zach, uh, what was the story I survived um, the shark attacks of 1916 about? There was this boy named um, Chet. Chet. And he was moving all around um, the United States of Texas. <laughs> yes. The United States of America. And his mom and dad went on like a vacation or something like that. And, and um, so Chuck had to um, stay with his um, his uncle. Uncle. It was like like at a creek or something. It was in New Jersey. New Jersey. Um. And do you know, do you want to say anything else? Um, there was, um, these boys that pranked him. There so. was some, there, they, he's got some friends in the story that they like to play pranks on one another. But one of the cool things about these I Survive books is that they are based on a true, true event that happened, but it's a fictitious uh, storyline that they're following. So Chet is not an actual character that happened in um in 1916 it is a fictitious storyline that um that lauren tarshish came up with but it follows the um it follows what happened um during the 1916 shark attack so she took a really fun role on this and took it into a whole nother place you um respect it. you you definitely need to respect sharks How... <laughs> no you definitely need to respect the author because she spent a whole lot of time on this. She certainly did. She had to do a lot of research, didn't she? Don't just rip it. Rip it. Don't do that. <laughs> but you liked it. Yes. Okay. So if we're... anybody sh <laughs> like sharks out there, read this right now. All right. Me. So, Zach, now I've got some questions um, for you as the listener, but I also have some questions for Zach. And let's see what kind of answers that you guys are going to come up with. Before we get started, I want to give a brief overview that in 1916, they obviously did not have marine biologists. This one here at one point in time said, I want to be a marine biologist. And I said, OK, so we took him to shark camp and I let him um, go in shark camp. But when we got there, um, the smell of formaldehyde got to him. And he did not like the smell of it. Did you like the smell? No. No. My face went like. He he turned completely white, like really like a like, like pale white. It was yes. like at this rate, and then it went like at this rate. Mm hmm. Now, um, so he said he preferred his sharks alive rather than dead. So basically, 
we learned that marine biology was not going to be his um, his career of choice. But so he still has favorites. And so here's my question to you. What is your favorite shark? What's your favorite shark, Zach? Hmm. There's a lot of them. There are so many different sharks out in the ocean. Um, and you can think of all the big ones. Like there's the great white, there's the bull shark, there's a hammerhead, there's a nurse shark, there's the whale shark, there is um, spinner sharks. Yes, there spinner sharks. That, those are my favorites. He likes the spinner shark. Why do you like the spinner shark? Because they're like ballet dancers. They're like ballet dancers in the ocean. <laughs> okay, so my favorite shark is the thresher shark. If you've never heard of the thresher shark, the thresher shark has a really, really long tail fin. So it doesn't look like a normal shark fin. It's really long and it can swim really fast and it, it moves its tail and then it will stop. Boom! Like stop like you put on the brakes in the car and it flips its tail and it goes whoop and it will stun its prey and eat it. So that's how it does. I think it's like the coolest thing. Next question. All right. Now, would you swim with sharks? Would you swim with sharks? Whale shark. A whale shark? Whale sharks. And nurse sharks. Okay. So he would, sh he'd swim with whale sharks and nurse sharks. Okay. Same right here. Um, maybe. I ain't gonna swim with any sharks. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> if, if it was a whale shark, I'll just grab onto it to swim. I, I, mm -mm, nope. I, I would not do it. It's, they scare me. Like, I love looking at them on TV, and um, I don't even think I'd want to see them if I was on a boat. No, thank you. Okay, All right. go, go underwater and see a thresher shark for yourself. No, thank you. Yeah. All right. So now, our oh next God. question. Now, in 1916, they didn't believe that sharks actually would attack a human. They believed that sharks, that humans weren't on the menu, okay, for per se for sharks. But um, they they didn't believe that sharks could attack a human. They didn't believe that they that they could possess the bite power to actually hurt them. So, so this all like this whole storyline, it was very fictional, made up for them that they would think that in 1916. So my question now to Zach is that, what if? something you knew something was dangerous just like chet knew that sharks were dangerous and he had found this out firsthand um what if you run and you tell someone but they don't believe you what are you gonna do are you gonna i'm gonna keep on warning people you're gonna keep on warning people you're not gonna give up yeah all right guys it's time for the fun part it's time for zach and i to write the book now so we're gonna show our emojis now, if you've read this book, I want you to kind of be able to think, well, how did you rate any of the I Survived? It doesn't have to be the shark attack one. What did you rate any of the I Survived? So here we go. Guys, let's get ours ready. Zach, do you have yours ready? Yes. Ready? One, two, three. What did you say? It's out of this world. It's out of this world. And I said, uh, it was kind of scary. Um, I didn't know what was going to happen. But then I have a second one because, well, it's also a little bit sad. Um, there, it, there's a kind of a sad element, a sad story. The idea of maybe someone could get um, bit by a shark. Um, all those kinds of things. Like the feelings. All the feels are there. So, yeah. It's, it's a little bit... Um, not scary, but like it keeps you on the edge of your seat. Um, and then it's a little bit sad and Zach thinks it's out of this world. So um, there you have it. Now, last question that I have for Zach is, would you read more of the I Survive series? Yes. Yes. And when we're looking at this bookie. I Survived the Shark Attacks of 1916 by Lauren Tarshis. All right. So guys, until we see you again, um, we will be back and... Oh, bye. Bye. Ready? Happy bye. reading. Bye, guys. Can Happy reading. <laughs> Don't forget to like and share our videos. Yes. That's it.
Okay. Oh, that is a foil. <laughs> okay. Um, I told him because, he probably wasn't going to make it as a marine biologist. Because you <laughs> know what happened. Yes. Okay. All right. Hi, guys. Oh, I don't want to start like that. Okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> Do you want to try it again? No. <laughs> Get down. <laughs> All right. <laughs>